Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the fight channel. This is our main event of UFC 266, ladies and gentlemen. This match shows that happened a while back ago, but it got pushed back till this one. Ladies and gentlemen, they both were coaches on the ultimate. Whatever they do, their, their episode thing, ultimate fighter thing. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the arena for this matchup. Coming up next, it shall be done for the UFC featherweight championship of the world between Alexander Volkanovsky and Brian Ortega. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with this. Well, how about the as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Volkanovski is two years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Brian T. City. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. 
two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Real quick leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice combination there by Ortega. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And he comes through with a big knee. the shot well you like the thought process to go to the counter ultimately the execution not there that's a miss oh spinning back fist i mean he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks right punches there oh stuffs the takedown without issue and now he's got that, oh, double leg oh, Nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ortega's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell, so back to the stool. Mentally, probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Brian Ortega. A lot of tough pressure being applied here. Ortega's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. 
Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Getting tighter. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. You guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Take his pass attempt, denied. Lands with the right hand. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by both of us. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got a choke. We gotta push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing. It's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. 70 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Brian Ortega. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by T-City, Brian Ortega. Well, just exhausting what? Wow, actually got the takedown. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck, and he will have to submit. Ortega's back into full guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Ortega's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good right hand. All right, has the guard closed here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by T-City, Brian Ortega. Close guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice 
strike landed there by the bottom by Volkanovski. Ortega is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship right. rounds. What is a fighter's right. mindset when you right. get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Try to establish that jab. Connects with a right. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Left hook right hand. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Man, he's all oh, the master of the transition. Nice grab. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch there by Volkanovski. All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Volkanovski. All right, trying to pass here, as Clover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take ground and pound strike. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, he's got a choke. No, actually, oh. he goes to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be oh, now because oh, you oh. get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. It is the fifth and final round. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. How about that shin? Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That was a thudding leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Good right hand. That shot blocked by Volkanovski. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Right hand. That's a good scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. Great job. Nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Ortega's trying for a submission here. Push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. His now it's his, his mouth. Ortega's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Volkanovski, ground and pound from half goal. 45 seconds remain in the round. Close guard. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, trying to pass here, but to Kenbe Matumbo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get to some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Monogoski! All right, there's a little smile. Wasn't much for smiles during fight week. He can finally exhale right now because he is still the best in the world at 145 pounds. He's all business in the lead up to these fights. But after the fight is over, he can take a breath. He understands the target that he walks around with on his back and knows every time he goes in there, he fights the very... All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a victory by the team to retain his title here tonight, and what a match. That was a classic five-rounder, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see here on the Bike Channel, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. we see you later. Peace out.